Tesla does it again, a revolutionary cheap car set to dominate. After achieving a fourth consecutive quarterly profit, Tesla CEO Elon Musk stated that the company will prioritize growth by making its cars more affordable. And the, the only way to do this was to start small, to start with a, a low volume car, which is why we started with the, the Tesla Roadster. Tesla's strategy has been to start with high-end vehicles and gradually launch more affordable vehicles to reach mass market. It all started with a $100,000 sports car called the Roadster. Then came the Model S sedan and Model X SUV, both of which were high-end luxury vehicles that were only slightly less expensive than the Roadster. Later, options in the $45,000 to $60,000 range were added to the Model 3 sedan and Model Y SUV. With this, Tesla fans are looking forward to the much-awaited $5,000 Tesla model to be revealed as promised by the company's CEO himself, Elon Musk. Let's start off with a $5,000 Tesla model. Elon Musk stated in an interview in the Wall Street Journal that Tesla will produce a $5,000 car. He believes that the electric company's new battery cells and production initiatives will enable it to achieve this competitive price threshold, which might result in a 50% reduction in battery costs. According to multiple sources, Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai will produce the $5,000 automobile before exporting it to other countries. In 2021, Tesla announced the opening of a new R&D center in China to build an electric vehicle in the Chinese style for the Chinese market. Tesla has also began accepting design submissions for its projected model from well-known design firms. It began hiring employees for the program shortly after design proposals were received. Musk has been attending company-wide meetings in recent days, making it a little easier to predict when the next Tesla will be released. Musk indicated during one of those sessions that production of the next Tesla electric cars will begin in 2023. He also claimed that access to the next Tesla model would be largely contingent on Tesla's entire self-driving system being manufactured and deployed. Musk has asked his employees if they want a steering wheel and floor pedals on the upcoming model. Tesla's Model 3 and Y SUV now costs a little less. According to Tesla's website, the cheapest Model 3 and Model Y models have had their pricing reduced, while the performance models have had their costs raised. Before any state incentives or gas savings, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is currently $36,990, down from $37,900. Model Y Standard Range is currently available for $39,990. Tesla CEO has frequently complained that the business's cars are too expensive, and the company has a history of using price discounts and incentives to boost deliveries during important quarters. Musk stated, the business was working on a $25,000 automobile at the Battery Day event. The performance version of the Model 3 was raised to $55,990 from $54,990, while the performance variant of the Model Y was raised to $60,990 from $59,990. Tesla has recently reduced its prices in Japan. Adjustments may reflect mixed strategy. Credit Suisse analyst Dan Levy wrote in a letter to clients, We believe Tesla's objective is to lower prices, financed by cost reductions, in order to boost volume. The Tesla Model 2 is set to go on sale in 2023. Tesla currently has four mass-produced models on the market, all of which are performing exceptionally well. The S3 XY range is now mature and will keep Tesla's momentum going but it's time for the car maker to focus on its next quarter to cement its dominance. We already know that the Cybertruck, the next generation Roadster, and the Semi are all in the works, but there's another future model that, if it plays its cards correctly, might become the company's best seller. We're talking about the Model 2, a rumored $25,000 hatchback. There's no doubt that the $25,000 starting price of an EV will be its strongest draw. And if all the stars align, the Model 2 might be as cheap as $18,000 for a select few. This might be feasible because the Biden administration is attempting to enact the Green Act, which would triple the federal tax credit cap for electric vehicles. Instead of the present cap of 200,000 vehicles, the tax credit will be available on 600,000 vehicles from each automaker. Tesla, as we all know, 
has exceeded the 200,000 cap and is no longer eligible for a federal tax credit under the existing system. However, if the Green Act is passed, 400,000 more Tesla vehicles will be eligible for a federal tax credit of up to $7,000, which is $500 less than the previous selling. This is without taking into account the state credits, which reduce the effective price even more. In 2020, Tesla delivered 235,000 automobiles in the United States and 499,550,000 £450, worldwide. This means the company's new cap could be depleted in less than two years. With 184,800 Teslas delivered around the world in the first quarter of 2021, the business had its best quarter in its 13-year existence. There's no news on when the Green Act will be passed, but it's likely that the Tesla models now on the market will profit from the program, while those priced at $25,000 may not. It's difficult to say until both the Green Act and the launch of the cheapest Tesla have a clear timeline. Tesla to focus on making cars affordable after profit boost Musk expressed concern over the price of Tesla cars during a conference call on the financial results. Right now, the thing that bothers me the most is that our cars are not affordable enough, and we need to solve that," he stated. All we want to do is to be modestly profitable, grow as much as possible, and keep the automobiles as affordable as feasible. The Model 3 starts at £40,490 in the United Kingdom. Musk pointed out that the high cost of batteries is one of the reasons that electric cars are still relatively expensive to purchase and he asked mining companies to increase nickel output, which is a major component in their manufacturing. If you mine nickel efficiently and environmentally sensitively, Tesla will give you a huge contract for a long time," he added. However, due to the forced closure of Tesla's facility in Fremont, California because of the coronavirus lockdown, output was down by 59% in the first three months of 2020, while being only 5% lower year-on-year. -year. The company stated it still plans to deliver half a million cars every year, despite the COVID-19 disruption making this challenging. Tesla's new battery technology could drive down cost of electric cars. Tesla has revealed new, in-house produced batteries for its electric vehicles, signifying a dramatic move from the automaker that, if successful, could significantly lower the cost of electric vehicles. I believe it is the way all electric cars in the future will be manufactured. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said at the company's Battery Day event outside its Fremont, California manufacturing facility. Tesla claims that its new battery cell has a tables design that will give 5 times the energy, 6 times the power, and 16% more range than its previous battery cell. The energy stored in the battery pack is transferred to the car's drivetrain via a conductive metal tab in the company's current vehicles, which are obtained from Panasonic. The new battery pack achieves the same result by incorporating a sequence of microscopic bumps and spikes into the design, which the business thinks will eliminate the need for a tab, and as a result, save costs and production time. After the patent was approved, Musk tweeted that the technology is much more important than it sounds. The new batteries will also be 56% less expensive to manufacture and are being developed wholly in-house, according to Tesla. What are your thoughts on this news? Are you looking forward to grabbing a Tesla? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Like this video, subscribe to Big Brain Money, and check out these other useful videos that could potentially bring financial blessing to your bank accounts.